hey guys good morning oh one of the things i love about my apartment is the fact that when you wake up in the morning like the light just you know vitamin d in your house and it's i love it i have my tea here my mom's recipe pineapple peel fever grass cloves yep and if you want you can add honey to it but i don't have honey in mind by the way i have other ways i make this tea from my garden i get fever grass i get mint take the pineapple peel i always have pineapple peel in my fridge or freezer. i add about two or three cloves into when it. it's boiled i add my honey and that's how it's I had it such today. a soothing tea especially with the weather we have now in yaoundé super cold so i spent my yesterday doing a photo shoot i was shooting some one year old I want to edit the pictures right about now so that the mama can collect from my hands you know so just to let you know that i take photos for kids i know most photographers when you ask them they'll be like oh no we don't do photo shoots for one year old to three year old that's because these children you really cannot control their mood so if you want to have like a photo shoot you need to be patient you need to play with the child you need to become a child so god has blessed you all that patience is my specialty okay so it's something that i know how to do and i enjoy doing the photo shoot and just playing with the children and getting amazing pictures for them see my hair i took my hair out today it's been a long time that i showed you guys my hair after the routine i have a makeup class to attend to before then i just want to take time to just do the work that i have to do now photoshop yep i haven't exported the pictures yet this is what the pictures look like like we had a really tough time yesterday because after the first outfit the child was like which is normal the child was like oh i've had enough so we had to take a break for the child to eat and rest before we continue so straight away into the makeup class this has been my student for it's almost two weeks now and she's doing a very very good job on that note if you want to learn makeup you want to have like a private class you want to have online classes hit me up my work page on instagram is red.aesthetics you can check it out in case you need a face b or you want to learn makeup yeah just write to me on red.aesthetics and i will reply you asap hey guys i have a guest look at her she's sleeping on the floor that's my little sister lulu she makes one mean as scotch egg and she was up the whole night making scotch egg to deliver yesterday and i asked her to bring me some this smells so so good i just want to show you guys what this looks like hi lulu then bid you <laughs> I thought I could use my mic to do this video, but my receptor is low, so I need to charge before I do that. Let me show you what this project looks like. So I ate one already. I'm going to have another. And then I was trying to read online to find out if scotch air can be stored in the refrigerator. Because I got the minimum order. The minimum order is 2,000 francs. And it comes... Lulu, is it eight? Yeah, it comes eight. I should not be eating eight eggs like it really makes no sense yeah i'll have two i have one earlier i'm having another one now and then the rest of it i'm going to refrigerate it so that i can be having on days when i decide to have like breakfast mm. lulu also does like cakes she makes one mean ass fried rice as in you need to taste lulu's fried rice i'm going to leave her information in the description box so that you can support my family members oh thank you all I'll tell you all the story about this man going out of a taxi now, but I will tell that story after work. So just keep watching. I was running late too, but thank God my driver stopped to carry planks. Hey! I finally made it to work on time, on time to work on the model the artist babatunde joyce i know her i know her anyways when i came on set i didn't have like a full story i didn't have like a full structure of the scene on my mind so i asked the videographer what i should do and he said something subtle and cute and pretty 
and i did something so subtle and cute and pretty and when baba came around she was like no it's a week waking up in the morning scene so i had to wipe off everything i had done and i left the model with just a fresh looking face and that was it now let me talk about baba tunde the artist like no caps she's one of cameroon's national treasures she's so unique in her art and style and girl knows music let me know in the comment section do you know baba tunde joyce and if you do which of her music is your favorite I know it, Jesus. We are still on set. I think I'll be here for a while before going home. But we started work already. I have food to eat. And I'm just chilling and waiting for the next orders to carry on with work. I'll carry you guys along. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. We are starting with the second session of. The shooting and it's a night scene, so we have to stay here all day. Make sure that the night comes up. That's the model, Sandra. She wants to change, and we're doing like full makeup this time around. Kini wants to get into my vlog. Kini, you don't want to sell your market on, on my channel. So different from the morning scene, this time around we had to do like a full glam type of look, you know. And remember, if you want to book me for your makeup, go to my work page at red.aesthetics on Facebook and Instagram. You will get me. Thank you all so much. I had dinner and a show. And the show was me talking about how people's boyfriends are still in the market. Hold your boyfriend so hi guys good morning it is 9 43 and i'm ready for work i'm just waiting for the director to pass pick me up so we go on set yesterday we spent the whole day on set came back by one i think i shared that very short time to sleep because what was i doing <laughs> let me not just share it here but i slept by two past two yep i'm here for two reasons all of them are stories First is that I got my nail bill this morning and it is not looking funny at all. <laughs> like, hey Jesus. I spoke about my last bill in, in one of my past videos. I said the bill was 500 francs and I did not understand why it was 500 francs. This month, eh, it's not even just looking funny. The second thing, the mayor of Yaoundé is going to catch me and arrest me for wearing this cap too much. Yesterday, while I was going on set, I got into this taxi and the radio program came on. And they were talking about children relating with their parents and stuff like that. I did not notice when this program or this journalist was talking about re children relating with their parents. What I noticed was the father's comment on what the journalist was saying. And the father was like, Mon fils propre, mon, my, my, mon propre fils, je n'ai jamais goûté même le jus. The father was like, he travailled depuis trois ans maintenant et je n'ai jamais goûté son stain pan. So what he was saying is like my own child, he has been working for for three years and I have never tasted even a bottle of juice in his hand. And he was really he was disgruntled. He was like he doesn't know where he doesn't know where the child has that kind of attitude from. That who does that kind of thing? That your father who has been taking care of you for all of these years. You cannot even say that oh daddy thank you uh, have this five thousand francs even if they don't pay you too much at least this is what the father was saying at least give your father even if it's not always let your father also eat from the money that you work i'm just going to throw it to you all what do you think it's a son of large to give their parent money is it when i mean son i mean like son and daughter you know where the bible says sons of god is everybody so it's a son of large to give the father money is it like you're paying back your parents or let me just know in the comment section do you think the son is right um do you think the dad is right without dropping what i think like in africa let me not say in africa i really don't know about other cultures but in cameroon i know very well that when your first salary comes your first fruit you just carry it and you go and honor your mother and your father with that salary that is what i know and that is the culture that that's what is on my that's what is in my head okay 
and like i said i'm not going to drop further on what i think about this but i'm opening the floor let me know in the comment section what do you think about this okay so i think i'm going to carry you guys along oh bab said there must there's mosquitoes in that place like i have i have trousers on long pants on i have a t-shirt on i'll try to look for something long to wear on my hand because she said there's lots of mosquitoes there i have my mosquito bands i have the mosquito repellent but i i i stopped using this mosquito repellent because it burns my skin like for at some point in my life like even now this part of my body was darker than every other part because this thing is really really harsh so i'm not going to use it again i'll just find a pullover so i cover all of my body all right so i lay it her So right in front of me we have like a fish pond or many fish ponds. We have a hall, there's like a craft center. Mm. And it's this place. It's this place just filled with so much greenery. Forever, finally sat here, but we're finishing soon and we're going to get out of here in no time. This place looks beautiful. I like, and my phone too is going off, and there's no light here, so I don't think there's anything I'll add to the video. I'll just end it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.